Hi everyone, thank you for clicking. Welcome to the live stream. This is International Royals TV and thank you for being here. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please thumbs up if you haven't already. Thank you so much. So today we will be discussing Princess Anne's life history or Princess Royals life history and we are on session number five. Previously, we already discussed Princess Anne, that was a little introduction, her early life and education, Equist, Equist, I can't pronounce this, Equist, Equistianism, Equistianism, oh my goodness, <laughs> marriages and children. So now we are on session number five which is a bit of a scary one, it was a kidnapping attempt. But obviously this is a long time ago, so thank God she's okay. And the source I'm reading from is Wikipedia. Please catch up on the community tab if you have missed some episodes. There's a playlist called Princess Royal's Life History. And we also have Queen Elizabeth II's Life History in the playlist section and on the community tab. Okay, so let's get on with the reading. This is session five. This is called Kidnapping Attempt. And we are reading from Source Wikipedia. Okay, so let's go. Kidnapping Attempt. On 20th of March, 1974, Princess Anne and Mark Phillips were returning to Buckingham Palace for a charity event when a Ford Escort forced their princess car to stop on the mall. The driver of the escort, Ian Ball, jumped out and began firing a pistol. Oh my goodness. Inspector James Beaton, Anne's personal police officer, excited, exited? I do apologise, exited the car to shield her and to try to disarm Ball. Beaton's firearm, a Wolfer PPK, jammed and he was shot by the ball. Oh my goodness. As Anne's chauffeur, Alex Callender, when he tried to disarm Ball, Brian McConnell, a nearby tabloid journalist also intervened and was shot in the chest oh my goodness this has all happened a long time ago so don't be alarmed and don't worry <laughs> this happened in 1974 princess Anne royal is very well this is i'm reading from source wikipedia so don't get alarmed don't be worried if you're just tuning in and hearing all this <laughs> it happened in 1974 and i can assure you she's fine so let's continue with the reading and it's from Source Wikipedia. So Ball approached Anne's car and told her that he intended to kidnap her and hold her for ransom. Oh my goodness. The sum given by varying, varying sources as two million. Oh my goodness. Or three million, which he claimed he intended to give to the National Health Service. Hmm, what? <laughs> Ball told Anne to get out of the car, to which she replied, not bloody likely. Wow, <laughs> how brave is that? In such a situation, she was still cocky and ballsy. That's what I just love about her. She's always stood her ground. What an amazing woman. <laughs> Look at this. Let's read that again. Ball told Anne to get out of the car, to which she replied, not bloody likely. <laughs> I can't get over that bit. <laughs> Let's continue. She really put them in their place. Like, mm, let's continue. <laughs> she reportedly briefly considered hitting Ball. Wow, what a strong woman. Anyone would have been scared in this kind of situation. Mm, let's continue. Eventually, Anne exited the other side of the limousine as her lady-in-waiting, Rowena Brassi, a passing pedestrian, a former boxer named Ron Russell punched Ball and led Anne away from the scene. Mm, quite rightly. 
At that point, Police Constable Michael Hills happened upon the scene. He too was shot by ball. Oh my goodness. But he had already called for police backup. Detective Constable Peter Edmonds answered, gave chase and finally arrested Ball. Oh, quite rightly. What, what a malarkey. What a scary situation as well. I'm glad they all were okay after all this. So let's keep reading. Beaton Hills, Calendar and McConnell were hospitalised oh, and recovered from their wounds. Okay, that's good. For his defence of Princess Anne, Beaton was awarded the George Cross by the Queen, who was visiting Indonesia when the incident occurred. Oh my goodness, can't imagine how the Queen must have felt hearing all that happened to her daughter when she was so far away out of the country as well. Ah, oh, Let's continue. Hills and Russell were awarded the George Medal and Calendar McConnell and Edmonds were awarded the Queen's Gallantry Medal. It was widely reported that the Queen paid off Russell's mortgage, but this is not true. Russell said in 2020 that a police officer suggested it might happen, so he stopped paying his mortgage in anticipation and nearly had his house repossessed after four months. Anne visited Beaton in hospital and thanked him for his assistance. In 1983, she spoke about the event on Parkinson, saying she was scrupulously polite to Ball, as she thought it would be silly to be rude. <laughs> Let's read that again. She spoke about the event on Parkinson, saying... She was scrupulously polite to Ball as she thought it would be silly to be too rude at that stage. Wow. <laughs> In such an emergency situation, she still had humour and she was still, I don't know. She's one of a kind, this woman, very strong. Wow. Let's continue reading. Beaton, who had been Anne's sole bodyguard, later said about Royal Security, I had nothing. There was no backup vehicle. The training was non-existent, but then again, we thought nothing was going to happen. They are highly specialised now, highly trained. Immediately after the attack, the use of only a single protection officer was stopped and Wolfer PPK pistol was replaced. Ball pleaded guilty to attempted murder by Let's read that again. I do apologise. Ball pleaded guilty to attempted murder and kidnapping as of March 2024. He was still detained under the Mental Health Act at Broadmoor Hospital, having been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Um, I am reading from Source Wikipedia in case you want to have reference to what um, all what we've been saying on here today it's on wikipedia so you can search for that and i'm just reading princess anne's life history and we are talking about kidnapping attempt okay so let's continue the attempted kidnapping of princess anne is the focus of the granada television produced docudrama to kidnap a princess in 2006 and inspired story lines in Tom Clancy's novel Patriot Games. So once again, <laughs> the source I'm reading from is Wikipedia. If you'd like to follow up online, you, you can. And also we have a playlist section detailing Princess Royal's life history. And also we've got a playlist detailing Queen Elizabeth II's life history and those are in the playlist. I've done audio on those as well. So that brings us to the end of session number five, which was called Kidnapping Attempt. Everything I've said on here is from Wikipedia, so you can go and follow up on there. Princess Royal is fine. Princess Anne is fine. This is not a recent thing. 
this was all taken place around 1974 okay so no need to worry and no need to be alarmed so i do thank you so much for your time thank you for being here please thumbs up if you haven't already and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we will be continuing the next session which will be session number six and that one is called activities and public appearances so we'll be continuing with that thank you so much so if you've just joined the live stream i will leave this running for a little bit longer so that you can catch up with today's session so you can hear the whole of the session if you rewind it to the beginning you'll be able to hear today's session and then next session will be called activities and public appearances that'll be session number six and we'll be doing that later on in the evening later on today or if not but well, we'll be by tomorrow so thank you so much for being here i'll leave the live, live stream running also you can catch up on the community tab and in the playlist section where you'll find princess royals or princess anne's life history and also on the playlist section and community tab You'll also find Queen Elizabeth II's life history. If you're just tuning in, please could you rewind the live stream to the beginning to hear today's session. And I do thank you for your time. I'm just about to put up a poll question as well. So please do answer that before you go. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, thank you everyone for being here. And proud to be a simp. Thank you so much for tuning in as well. Thank you so much. All right, guys.